Alright, this is what Octor OS looks like. You create your very first account. Now please note there are a few things that don't quite work. So let me log in. Now it's got an image editor, it's got a paint program. Here's all of that working. So as you can see, the Am there's the Amazon app working flawlessly. It's got Facebook. There we go. There's Facebook. And it's even got a full fledged web browser so you can browse websites. It's, got, it's very beautiful. If you want to change the wallpaper, you can go to here. And say I want to change it to... This. I can do that. This, what this app is, is it's actually a... Programming app, so if you program stuff, so see it's a programming language. It's a coding app, you can code this, you can play video footage from one of my videos. Let's so, there you go. That's my last video. If you want to know, you can go to Update Center and check for updates. Now the problem with that is it does um, continuously check for updates. That's all. They, it does not ever finish checking for updates. You can remove a widget. So if I move this widget, it just doesn't show. And then if I add the widget, it shows up. You can do a security program where you can check health. It'll show my health, and then if I want to, I can start a scan. And then it'll show me all the stuff I've, um, not gonna let that bore you, but this is a image, I believe, editor. Yeah, yeah, the simple image editor. 
So you can edit, open and edit images. Make them, make them look better and so forth. You can go to view your photos. So if you have any screenshots, those will show up here. So these are a couple of screenshots. Pretty much if you take screenshots. And you take screenshots on any app by clicking. As long as it has this, um, this little, like, icon in the corner, you can actually, um, click it and it'll record. It'll actually capture, um, a picture of the application. It's got a sound recorder where basically you just record your sound. Now the only thing that does, one of the things that doesn't work properly is. You can't view some of the radio stations. So these work. This one worked, but none of the other radio stations work. For some reason, none of the other radio stations work. And if you go full screen, there you go. Now, for some reason, that station worked. For some reason, though, that station worked. But some of these stations just... literally do not load. So, I don't know what that is. You can add your own um, music to here. Um, you can add notes. Like if you want to jot down some stuff that um, you want, you don't want to forget, you can take notes. Um, you can put stuff to do, like I can do new, and then like let's say. finish it, you can mark it, and it'll cross it off. This is an image converter, so you can convert your images. So, let's say, um, I browse for an image. Let's say, though, I had an image, I can actually browse for it and convert it to another format. So, you can run any app, kind of like the Run program in Windows, which this is actually running inside of. You can get, like, the About, so it shows About. Copyright turn 17 has been out for a little bit. You have a calculator app, so what's 4 times 5, 20, and then, it's got a mail form, so you can add your own mail account from these mail services, so from Gmail, Yahoo, AOL, and Outlook. Password it generates random path it generates a password. Now, um there you go. I don't know why that came up, but 
basically what this does is it helps you to get a stronger password. So you can just hit generate. And it basically just generates a random password. Yeah. Pretty much. Um, your photos and what's really cool in any app is it shows your apps down here and then when I minimize the apps it shows what well, should show my running apps when I go to the bottom of the page, but it's actually not doing that right now. But this is pretty much what. Yeah, it's not doing that. It should show you wanting apps. Let's open up the web browser and then minimize it. Yeah, it's not showing my wanting apps when I scroll to the bottom. It's supposed to, though, show you wanting apps. Um, this is basically a cloud app, so you can actually store your files in the cloud. You can log in if you're new to OTTA cloud. You can actually connect, and then you can sync your stuff to the cloud. Um, very beautiful looking. Even the wallpaper. Got a QR code scan, I don't know. You can basically, um, make your own QR code. Flashlight. So, strobe, it basically just does that all over your whole screen. RGB just basically does that. Yeah, pretty cool. Functional. For what it is, it's pretty cool. And then, this is what the box screen looks like. Now, for some reason, it's having trouble logging me in. Um, I might be stuck on this screen. Um, one time, though, I did try to log in, and it actually let me log in from the screen. But as you can see, you're supposed to enter in your password, and it's supposed to just let you in. Yeah, it's not letting me in. But what it's supposed to do is it's supposed to log you in, and it'll play that little beeping sound again like it did when you, um, basically, um, locked it, and it should let you back into the OS. So I might actually have to force close. But that pretty much concludes. Um, that pretty much concludes the um, operating system. Hold on, let me see if it'll eventually let me in. It should let me in. But it's being kind of stupid. Now it shows that I'm turning this on. It's not letting me type anything into that though. That's weird. 
but it's definitely not letting me type anything in. Weird. Okay, it's not letting me in. I'm gonna have to force close this application. So what I recommend doing this probably not because it doesn't work prop it doesn't function completely but I'm gonna show one more thing um the login screen and then I'm gonna show um Basically, um, the shutdown screen. So does this OS hold up in 2019? No, it doesn't. Now please, disclaimer, this is not a standalone OS. All the apps import you want runs directly through in Windows. So, I gotta say this isn't. A standalone OS. Um, it's basically a. It's basically a um, custom UI f on Windows that basically mimics. It's basically a custom UI for Windows that kind of mimics another operating system. Um, and please note it once in Visual Basic. It's very beautiful. And, yeah, pretty much that's, that's it. Um, does it hold up? No, it doesn't. Some features don't work. Um, when you lock out, sometimes you can't log back in. Now, one time I was able to log back in. This time, I wasn't. 